Mike here from Bush Green. How's everybody doing today? It's a nice, uh, nice sunny day, a little bit of clouds and blue sky. It's a little chilly. <laughs> I think it's about, uh, it's probably about minus two Celsius right now. So anyway, uh, the project I have on the go right now is to make uh, custom dollies to put a plow blade on so you can move it around easily for storage. So I already made a set for uh, my straight blade that I have, uh, which you guys haven't seen yet. It is tucked away in my garage. Um, but I am going to make another set of three for that blade, for my V blade. And uh, I'm just gonna bring you through uh, how I do it. This is just how I do it. Um, not telling you this is how you gotta do it, but uh, this works for me. It is a bit of overkill, but they work really smooth for me and uh, it's easy to move around. I know a lot of guys, uh, you know, same as me, I only have a single garage. I don't have a lot of room to, to store stuff and uh, something like this works really well. Uh, you can move it around easily, take it out, put it in. And because uh, these, these plows are pretty heavy, all right? So, well, this one here, uh, I think it's about eight or 900 pounds. So it's, it's a lot of weight, right? So anyway, uh, Hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's go. Just going to go through uh, some of the tools and materials that I use. Very simple. Most people uh, will have this this stuff on them, but um, okay. So this is what I use. So I got my screwed uh, gun. I got a Dewalt. It's a 20 volt. You need a Robinson number two. It's a square head. Uh, screwdriver well it's a bit that I put into the uh, uh, into the drill uh, measuring tape uh, the screws that I use for uh, for this project I got uh, um, I just use all-purpose screws or deck screws um, so I have uh, the three inch the eight by uh, three so three inch long uh, screws and then uh, one and a half to two inch you can use so I got a little bit of one and a half left there and I got a new pack of twos there so th those will do you'll, you'll see later uh, where I'm going to be using those um, washers okay so this these this size is a 3 16 by one okay you'll see in a little bit <laughs> where all this stuff comes together uh, smaller washers of course you need caster wheels these wheels right here are awesome. Uh, they are rated for, what does that say there? 165 pounds can go on this one wheel. I'm going to have four of these on one dolly, which I'll have three dollies holding my plow. So you can do the math. Um, 12 of these times 165. Yeah, my plow weighs... Uh, about 850 pounds say so it is overkill but hey it's better to have a, a a better rating than than not enough right okay and then of course you need wood so what i use uh, all you need is uh two by four by eight foot uh two pieces okay i use pressure treated you don't have to use pressure treated if you're going to be uh wheeling your plow or, or whatever you're going to use your dollies for uh, into uh, a dry space or indoors or in a garage or whatever, then pressure treated treat is not necessary. But for the cost of it, it's not much more, really. So I use that. And then, of course, you need a saw. Any kind of saw. Just a chop saw. Something that, you know, a hand saw will do, too. If you if you don't have a power, uh, power saw, it's just going to take a little more time, right? Okay. So let's get started. Before you start any project like this, you want to measure figure out um, exactly uh, your measurements what you need to cut for wood and all and what you have for wood and you, you want to try and uh, not have too much waste okay so this is what I figured out here hopefully you guys don't get too confused <laughs> okay I have two two by four by eight uh, pressure treated uh, yeah two by fours so uh, they're 96 inches each, and I got two of them, so that totals uh, 192 inches of wood that I have. Okay, so what I need for this project 
I need 16, sorry, I need four pieces of 16 inch length, okay? I need eight pieces of 12 inch length, and I need two pieces of 14 inch length. So I did my totals right here. So four of these equals 64 inches. Uh, uh, eight pieces of, of uh, 12 inch cut is 96. That's exactly uh, one two by four by eight piece that I have. Okay, uh, and then I need uh, two pieces of 14 inch, which totals uh, 28 inches. So I totaled all that up. Uh, it's 188 inches of wood I'm going to use, and I have 192 uh, that I purchased. So that's not bad. Four inches of uh, waste. You are going to have a little bit of a cutoff too, obviously. Like when you when you cut the wood, you know you're, you're losing just a tiny bit. But anyway, okay. So let's uh, let's keep on going here. So here we are. Uh, we got all of our wood cut. So I got all the stacks right here. I got two uh, 14 inch length. I got four 16 inch length. And I have uh, two stacks here of uh, eight 12 inch length. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Uh, I got to make two that are 16 inch by 12. So I'm going to grab two of my uh, 16 inch length cut. And I'm going to take two of my 12s. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these together. So I'm just going to match up the corners here. It's not rocket science, right? You just uh, kind of line it up with the, uh, with the edges right here. Okay, so this is where uh, the three inch screws come in. Just grab your drill and just put them together. table a little more. Perfect. Change the torque there. Battery's gonna die probably soon. I got another battery on charge actually. I think it's good now. Let's go to this corner. And by all means, I'm not a, a professional carpenter. Change this battery. The battery on charge. Ah, that sounds better. <laughs> All right. Let's get this corner here. Let's make it nice. I'm just putting two screws in each. It's good enough. Each corner. Oh. 
What I like to do too is I, I countersink the, uh, the uh, screw heads. Just put it a little bit into the wood there, right? So it's not sticking out. Okay, so we got this corner now. Everything seems to be uh, matching up really good here. So I guess that means I, I measured and cut properly here. Yeah, that's really good. I don't have to bend anything there. It's totally straight. Alright, two more screws in here. Caster wheels in the box down here. Four. Okay, so like I said, these are rated for uh, 165 pounds each wheel. So oh, I'm not going to do all the math in my head right now. 12, 18, 24. This is like four, five, six, 600 and something pounds anyway. This, this one dolly will be able to hold, but I'm gonna have three of these holding my plow, which is about 850 pounds. So, so yeah, it's overkill, but I'm telling you, you know, get good wheels, good casters, and you'll be happy. These, these wheels are great. Uh, they, they roll really nice. Uh, they're bigger, they're two and a half inch. Um, you can go with, like, and I have done it too. I bought a snowmobile, uh, um, dollies that a lot of people will use for their snow plows too but uh, the wheels are so cheap on them and I don't know where I put them I think I threw them out but they're garbage I'd rather just make my own I feel good about it and it's it's solid and, and, they, and they roll really nice okay so anyway now what we're gonna do we got to put our wheels on uh, every corner here so uh, so what I do because uh, this cut right here, basically the plow blade is going to be going in between these two 2 by 4s right here, laying across in here, right? Both sides of the plow. So I'm going to have two like this, and then uh, the third one uh, that's at the back of the, not on the plow blade, but on the actual frame, uh, it's going to be a, a more square and, and finished one that you'll see. So uh, you got to put the caster wheels on the bottom here, okay? So on the, uh, on the, uh, yeah, on the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to now put our wheels on each corner, like that. Looks good, eh? All right, now this is where our washers come in handy. Okay, so correction, at the beginning of the video, I, I said that you need these small uh, washers. For this project, we don't. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to have to use these uh, bigger washers here. Reason four, I'll show you in a second. This is where we're going to use our smaller screws now. Okay, so I use uh, the rest of the uh, the one and a half inch. Let's throw that package in. There we go. So we got some two inch here that we can use too. So basically these caster wheels here, you see the hole there that you put the screw through? Uh, it's kind of sketchy. Like the head, yeah, it will hold it. You know, but yeah, kind of turn right. So anyway, just to make it 100% perfect, I use this washer right here. Stick the screw through there, right? And the washer is going to hold this 100% solid. So it's basically going to look like that, right? So that's what I use the washers for. Okay, so we're going to put these on uh, on every corner here. Just going to figure out where we want to put it here. Uh, I think that's going to look good there. Well, maybe not. Okay, so right there. So you want to put your washer into your screw. So you start screwing it in. Get your washer down. 
because uh, later if, if your screw head's uh, a little lower down and your washer's hung up here on the caster, you're not going to get it flushed down here. So you want to make sure you get it flushed down there before you put the screw all the way in. All right. That's tight enough. So repeat that. And there we go. So that's one, one on there right there. Okay, so we're gonna speed this up here and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have it. Rolls awesome. Look at that. Whichever way you want it to go, it will go. Trust me. What do you guys think? All right, I got three more of these to build. So two like this, and there's one that is going to have a solid uh, top on it. All right, so let's go. Okay, so we're back. So we completed uh, making our dollies here for the plow. So you've seen me build the, uh, the first one right here. There we go. So I built an identical one to that first one that you've seen. And then the third one is pretty much built the same way, but, uh, but it's not as wide. It's not necessary. And I wanted to make a, a flat top. Okay, so all the casters. We're put on the exact same way. As you can see. So you can see with the washers, what it looks like on there. These things are never gonna come off. That's why I prefer to use screws. Screws will stay in there, right? And right there, the washers and all that. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the plow off the truck. I'm gonna unhook everything, back up. And then uh, basically that one's gonna go under the plow over there. This one is gonna go under the plow there. And then once I uh, disconnect everything here uh, from the truck, from the harness and all that, this one will be going right underneath here. All right, okay. Just gonna unhook the uh, plow, I'll be right back. Okay, so now let's uh, work this plow blade onto the dollies. And it's not as easy as it looks. I'll do it in real time, just so you can see. Um, you need something with uh, leverage. So what I use is an ice scraper, and I put it under and uh, lift up the blade, and then uh, slide the dolly under, all right?
Okay, let's see how easy we can move this now. So there you have it guys and girls, easy DIY project, make your own dollies, it's fun, solid, I think it's better than uh, what you can buy in the store, you're going to save money, you're going to have some fun doing it, and I'm telling you that this is awesome, I'm out of breath right now just from putting the, uh, the plow onto the dollies, yes it, it is hard work to do that, but um, I keep this plow on this truck all winter. Um, I only took it off for purpose to show you. Um, once you take it off, put it on the dolly, say, easy to move, put it in storage when you need it next winter, take it out. There. All right, so I hope you uh, all enjoyed that video. It's fun making them. It's fun doing something like that. You know, rather than buying it from a store, I think this is better than store-bought anyway. A lot more solid. You can make it to your own specs. Uh, I would go a little higher than what you're uh, building for, whether it's for a plow, a snowmobile, or anything you want to move around easily on wheels. Uh, I want to give a, a big shout out, sh shout out to uh, Minnesota Lawn and Landscape. Uh, I follow him. He follows me on YouTube. Uh, he was interested in seeing how I make these dollies since uh, he does plowing too. And uh, yeah, go check out his channel too. So... Thanks for watching again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe uh, to my channel. Help support me, uh, smash the like button. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, leave comments below. Any suggestions or uh, any questions, leave a comment below and uh, I will answer you, okay? Anyone, everyone take care. We'll talk to you soon.